Now, before you get your panties in a bunch based on that title, let me explain. I am not here to judge what another man does with his body or with his money. I'm just here to explain what I've seen happen over the last six years of living in Medellin, Colombia. Right now I'm in uh, uh, La Rale Circa, uh, Circa, next to uh, La Setenta. So guys, in this quick little video, I'm gonna be explaining what happened to me last night. So I was at the, uh, the Parque Lleres place, okay? Uh, that's where most gringos, if you're watching this for the first time, if you're looking to come to Medellin, Colombia, that's probably the place you're researching and you probably know that's where all the working girls are at. So check this out. I was there last night and let me tell you, there has been such a dramatic change of what I've seen happen from pre-pandemic pre to what I saw last night. Now, last night was really good. I don't have any content or anything like that because I don't like to promote that on my social media because I like to attract high quality business people to my channel. But anyways, with that being said, so I was there last night and let me tell you, okay, let me tell you how it was before the pandemic, right? But before we do that, I'm gonna walk over here as you saw, I just left my hotel, and right here is La Setenta, so I'm gonna go get a nice little coffee, a little cafecito, sit down, and I'm gonna tell you what, there were so many working girls, prostitutes, last night that it was overwhelming, and I wanna share why I believe that the passport bros, or the guys that are, the gringos that are traveling from United States or wherever, over to Parque Guedes or wherever it is, they're actually ruining Medellin. But first, coffee. Alrighty guys, so let's talk about it. So I'm coming from six years of living here in Medellin, Colombia. So I'm not a gringo that just started coming a year or two ago. All right, so check this out. First time I arrived here was at the end of 2018. Oh, sorry, 2019, that's when I first got here. So when I got here, when we used to go to places like Parque Guedes and stuff, there was a lot, it was a lot more family oriented, I could say. There was a lot more gringos, a lot more party. What I would say was what I experienced last night. And remember, I haven't been to like, that area in probably about three years. Like there's been a lot of change, but let me tell you, it, I would say it's more corrupted. And what I mean by that is the, the entire energy of that place is all like sexual. It's weird. It's like, that's not my kind of vibe. Now, the reason I was there was I have some friends, some girlfriends from Miami, they came in and, and I, I took them out. I was showing them around and I was gonna take them to the real spots like La Chula or like Las Palmas or like a place where like real Colombians go and enjoy themselves. And they didn't want to do that because th it was a Thursday night. So they wanted to go to like Parque Guerra because that's what everybody hears up on, on, uh, on YouTube and stuff. So we went there and guys, like I said, it's been a minute since I've been, I was overwhelmed. So in pre-2019, before pandemic, you would go to Parque Guerra. So there might be like a hundred of these like working girls and they usually would be outside. There would be a couple in the club and stuff, but it wouldn't be overwhelming. What Last night, it was like, I went to a, like a nightclub, like 11 or, 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 or whatever you call it in Miami. It was packed, but packed full of girls that were like on the hunt. And I don't know, whatever your vibe is, guys, if you want to do that stuff, but I'm the type of guy that I don't really associate with that. But the reason I'm sh making this video is to share that the culture of what people, especially YouTubers, are showing on Medellin and what people are coming for in that particular part of nightlife in Parque Eres, I believe it's corrupted. Now, the reason being is that if you ask any of the locals out here, they don't like to go to Parque Eres anymore because of how like sexualized it's turned into. And that's because a lot of the passport bros or the guys coming, and let's be honest, like most of the people that are there in Parque Eres are all dudes that are horny and they're trying to like hook up with chicks. But let me tell you this one thing, it's a pay to play zone. A pay to play so if you're not with that vibe i wouldn't even waste your time i would go to the places like where the Colombians go like where i like to party and I, like i do that for my clients that come into town i tell them where to go so we can have real genuine conversations real genuine experience i believe in my six years of experience if a person's going to come from miami or united states and they're going to come over to colombia and all they're going to do is like what they see on YouTube, which is like Parque Edison and stuff, you're not getting the full Col uh, Colombian experience. And most of the time, they're, they're mostly Venezuelan girls. And no, no, nothing against the Venezuelan girls or anything or people, but it's mostly Venezuelan girls. So if you're coming just for like that, you know, um, uh, six pat energy, then that's your vibe. But if you want something different, that's actually genuine. You know, maybe I'll make another video of some places that you could go to. I usually plan this out for my clients, you know, my high ticket business clients that want to come here to Medellin. But last night, was a real big game changer and the fact that it's not the same as it was pre-pandemic. 
where before 2019, you could go there and you could run into, there was nightclubs, it was more genuine, thank you. Okay. Just got the coffee in right here. Do you have uh, a YouTube channel or? Yeah, yeah. How is it called? Uh, yeah, one second, I'll, I'll, I'll go and use it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so pre-2019, it was genuine. I remember running into people from all, the, all over the world. Here's another thing running into other local traveling women, right? You would see that. Not in Parque Yeres anymore. It's so, it's been so corrupted. And the amount of working girls, it'd be like three, 400 or something like that. It's something that overwhelmed me. And to see the shift that's happened between 2019 to now in 2023, what I saw last night, that's not a place I am excited to go back to, especially being a, a person that lives here in Medellin. It's just, it's a, it's really sad to see what has happened Sorry, I'm like right by the street. It's really sad to see what has happened between 2019 and then obviously the YouTube and, and, and the Passport Bros and this whole movement has, and I, I'm not here to blame the Passport Bros. What I'm here to say is that there's more to Colombia and there's more to see than just that kind of life, especially just going to places like, like Parque Lleras or something like that. Because obviously, if there's supply and demand, so if there's a demand, there's always gonna be a supply. And what I've seen between 2019 and what I saw last night in that just four to five year gap, the supply has dramatically gone up to the point where like the entire place is not family oriented. I wouldn't wanna bring a girlfriend there, by the way. So like I mentioned, the girls that I brought in were from Miami. Girls will always feel, girls that like normal girls, that you're, whether they're friends or like local girls that you're dating, they will always feel uncomfortable in a setting like that. So let me tell you, if you don't know, it's like a, it's a thing that you'll learn. You don't take a girl that you're actually dating or that you like, you don't take her to a place like that because those girls are like, they're hunting girls and it, it makes them feel very uncomfortable. So you're not gonna really meet any local girls. You're not gonna really meet any, um, high quality girls I, I guess you could say so it's been such a dramatic change and guys we can do better and one thing i can do from this video an action step instead of just here complaining i'm not here to complain one thing that we can do is change our mindset about medellin change our mindset about colombia and change our mindset between where we're going and what we're trying to pull out of this right when you come to this beautiful country and i, I love this is one of my favorite cities i would say my top one or two it'd be between here and miami okay this is a place where when you come to Medellin, you wanna see how you can add value to the country, not take from it, okay? How can you add value when you land here and leave the, the place, leave the city, leave the people in a better place than when you first arrived, okay? And one of the best things that you can do is, like I said, I'm not here to judge what you do with your body, with your money, or whatever. One of the best things that you can do is look into other places outside of where the other gringos are going, outside of other places and investing into, um, you know, going if you're going to do the nightlife, going into places like Las Palmas, the Chula, and just changing your mindset. Don't try to suck out of it, but because these girls will suck out of you. They're like vampires. But guys, that was my uh, my my experience between what I've seen between the changes from 2019 to 2023 over in Parque Lleras. No hard feelings for the passport, bros. I'm a passport bro myself. Let's change that mindset. Let's get better. See you guys soon.